Hello my cool school, welcome back to the next episode! It's been a while! It has been a while, I'm sorry. But, you know, life gets in the way of things and, you know, it kind of gives you creator's block and all that fun stuff that goes with it. But we are back with the next episode and what better way than to try and see what we can do. So I have been having my eye on this jewel mission for a while now to try and get an atmospheric sample from jewel. But every time we've tried, something has come up in our in our way. So we are going to do that again. And we're going to make it as a probe, I think. Yeah, we're going to try and do it as a probe. Because probes are great. And they are much lighter than a crude capsule. Well, I say that. Some of them are. So if we go down to like one of these kind of probes. Then uh, trying to get the thrust to weight ratio is going to be quite good actually so without further ado we are gonna just go straight into this and we are gonna make this a big one we're just gonna we're just gonna make it quite a, a big big rocket so yeah we're gonna we're gonna make it quite large quite quickly but that's okay because we are going to get ourselves back to Jewel, and it's going to be great. It is going to be absolutely amazing. So, is this one the best one that I've got? Yes, this is the best one that I have currently, which is great. We will take that, and now we will shall have all of our science stuff. We're going to have all of our science stuff. I'm going to put it up here, actually, and we're going to have the atmospherics. Ampler there as well, but because of various things, I I don't even know. I don't think he can land on Jewel because it's a gas giant, and I don't know at what point it will kind of destroy our ship. Because yeah, big big stuff. I I have no idea at what point it will try and break our ship. So we will uh, hope for the best. Actually, I'm going to put you there. Put you up there, and then that, because I always forget to put the stabilizer on. The stabilizer is always something I forget. But not today, not today. Right there we go. Some batteries as well, and then we are going to snap in. Hmm. Because this is not a lander, I don't have to worry about legs, so that is going to save us a bit of weight. So let's put that there, so we can have some solar fun, as it were. And now we're also going to do, uh, we don't need to worry about that, because we're not landing. We are just going to be, which one's going to be better for us? <laughs> Efficiency, uh, which one do I want? Uh, I think we'll do that one. Yeah, we'll do this one. And, yes. So that is some solos. I'm going to also chuck on a couple of small ones. Just as extra, extra protection, as it were, I guess. Yeah, we'll, we'll call it extra protection. Like that. Nice. Just so we can always have it generating in case we do forget to put our solar panels out during warp. Because, you know, we we had it many times where it's just kind of failed on us because we forgot that we didn't put our thing out. So, yes, let's do this. So this is a probe. It's going to be, uh, yeah, we can put control surfaces on it. Why not? Why not? Let's Let's put some control surfaces on it. Like that. Just just as a in case. This is not going to return. It's going to stay in dual orbit. Uh and just careful sphere of influence. Sure. Um Jewel Ooh no, I'm in capitals. Jewel probe. That's what we're gonna call it. Because we are so original. Right, stack I can never remember what the, the actual difference between a stack. Separator and a stack decoupler is. 
I think we're going to just do the stack decoupler. Okay. And now we're going to have... Uh, we're going to do big, big, big fuel. Yeah, we're going to do... We're going to do the big fuel, fuel tanks, just so we can get ourselves out of Kerbin's sphere of influence with ease. No, that's not what I want. I want the launcher. No, I don't. I want the sustainer. Because this is not going to be launched out. It's going to be entirely launched out with solid fuel boosters, which, yes, we need to put on. I keep forgetting about them as well. Oh, uh, we'll do six, I think. Yeah, we'll do six. I'm trying to semi-speed through this as quickly as I can. Because I am aware that I always take forever just talking at the beginning. Trying to just do these kind of things. So I'm trying to speed my way through this a little bit more. Let's drop that down. A smidgen. There we go. Nice. Put the control surfaces on here. Yes, like so. Nice. Now we can put some error. No nope. error. Where is it? I am blind. Aerodynamics. Yes. No, there's nothing there. I need uh structural. This is what we need. Ooh, my game is frozen. My game has frozen. There we go. Ooh. Okay, we'll do that. And then the aerodynamics. We'll put those. Ooh. Those on. Nice. And now we shall also put a fairing, I think, around our probe head. Just, just as a safety measure. Because I don't really fancy having half of this get destroyed before we even get up into space. So... I mean... Maybe we should just try it. Maybe we should just try it without the fairing. Because that's added weight, and I don't really want any extra weight. So, let's do this. One, two, three, uh, uh, great. Let's do this. Let's do this, everybody. I think we've got everything that we need. Oh, and it's the Wiggle Rocket of Doom. Gotta love the... Gotta love the Wiggle Rockets. The Wiggle Rockets make everything fun. Just because, you know, it's like... Ah! But oh well. Oh well. We know that it's just a... An annoying bug. Oh. Oh. We're good. I think we're good. Right, let's do this. Go. Right, and we have liftoff. We have liftoff, everybody. I should have turned those solar panels sideways. I'm only just about realizing it now. Uh, hey. It's okay. It is okay. All right. Are we ready? We are going to start turning in three, two, one. Let's start the turn. Keeping ourselves somewhat going east. Because that is the way that I have been told to do this many times by people. Is always head east. And I'm like, okay, I will head east. But I don't want to overturn it because I don't want to flip it. And I don't want to absolutely slam it because... Heating? The heating issues, if I absolutely slam it, are unreal. So, we shall try our best to make sure that we don't absolutely cook ourselves. There we go. Just making sure that the rotation stays rough as close as we can to 90 degrees. Right, yeah, absolutely slam it across now. Right, because we are got a little bit left of our fuel, so we're going to just do this, whilst we still have a bit more control. Right, we should be going almost parallel to the planet now. Nice. Uh, 
Ah, I don't want heating already. Nice. Alright, we'll wait just a smidge more. So, until we're out of the atmosphere, there we go. And now, hopefully... There we go. Nice. Right, let's keep this going. Okay. Mm, uh, might be a bit closer. Right, yes. Just keep burning. Just keep burning until we get enough height to make sure that we don't come back into the atmosphere. So I'm keeping an eye on this number down here. That right down in the bottom corner. Until we get to about 80,000. And you know what? I'm going to pull up just a little bit so we can try and get some more height. Just a bit more height because... I don't want to be absolutely skimming the surface. There we go, that should be enough. That should be enough. Wait, the maneuver node. Hmm. Nice. Spin to the node. Let's do this. Yes, it's a bit of a heavy heavy thing, but we'll give it just a tiniest, tiniest little boost to help it. Right, let's put our solars out. There we go. And we are nearly there. Cut that, and right, let's go to target. Right, we have 30 seconds left to burn. Ooh. My game... I decided to take me out of warp. I was like, what just happened there? Four, three, two, one. There we go. Right, let's keep this burn going. Right, it, it is a two minute warp. So let's speed this up because I don't really want to be waiting for such a long time. Oh, lowering for times four warp. Oh, this is going to be cutting it quite close in terms of an orbit. Ah, uh, this is not going to work, is it? This is really not going to work. Huh. Um. Let's put that back in. Ah. Oh. It was nice knowing you. Because I don't even know if this is going to work now. We shall see. Uh, let's see if we can get past this without getting crispy. <laughs> because this is quite a close orbit. Really quite a close orbit. You see? Uh, please don't aero break too much. I need the speed. Yes, we need we need the speed. So I'm just gonna turn us a bit, so it can be a little bit more aerodynamic. So we don't, as I said, so we don't aero break too too much. Right. There I said. Do that. Right. So now, let us. Speed our way back up. We are speeding. So yeah, we've got to keep ourselves pointing in this direction. And then when we get to a slightly higher... When we get close to the... Up here. Oh, no. No, I want, I want to create a maneuver node. We're going to ever so slightly increase this. So that way we can... Ah, no, I want to see what... Uh, I'm going to have to eyeball that one, I guess. Yeah, we're going to have to absolutely eyeball it. Because, yes. We've already used up like half our fuel. 
which is not great. Really not great, but hey. How is this experiment still going on? I guess because we are still technically in the atmosphere. Which is a thing. How long is it taking? Ah, oh, left the region. I was going to say, like, I've been doing it for a while now. Lack of stellar exposure. Right, let's deploy that. Are we nearly out yet? Come on. I want to get out of times four warp, please. <laughs> times four warp absolutely sucks. It's so slow. Uh... Come on, I'm above 80,000 now, thank you. Uh... Right, let's get close enough. Let's walk. There we go. So, oh no. I'm not pointing in the right direction at all. This is going to be fun. This is going to be fun, fun, fun. So I'm just having to hope that I can, uh, Right, let's get to here. Yeah, just keep burning at a really slow pace. Keep going, keep going, and there we go. Nice. That works. That absolutely works. Right, so we got to see, is Jewel in the right place for us? Where is Jewel? No, that's Drez. Where is Jewel? Is that Jewel? That's Jewel. Jewel, set as target. Not Paul. No, not the probe either. Jewel. Focus. Of course. Set as target. There we go. That's a bit better. So now we've got to try and match up our things with it, which is great. So I'm going to deploy my, uh, I'm going to deploy that. There we go. So now the range is extended. Right. So we got to burn on the. On the sunny side, I believe. So if Jewel is there. Huh. Let's let's control that one second so we can just so we can get ourselves into a better place. Oh wow, this hello. Thank you. Yeah, so we need have Jewel above us on the map, I believe, for us to get to the right positioning. Uh, no, Jewel has to be slightly ahead of Kerbin. So let's speed up. Let's speed up so Kerbin can kind of catch up a little bit. Ah, no, I overwarped that one. Dang it. Just because I've got so many things around that I kind of wasn't paying attention. Okay, let's go again. Another year. Let's do this. Woohoo! Alright, let's take two. Ready? Nope. I it wouldn't. Ah. And again. Maybe we should wait until it's a little closer on its pass through. Ready? Steady. Right, is that in? That's a little bit too much. So let's... 
speed up just a smidge. We'll go with about there, I think. Yeah, I think we'll go with about here. No, that's not good. Ah! Ah! Aha! There we go. I don't even know what... Is this my my uh, curb and stationery? It was my curb and stationery. Okay, so where, where's the probe? There it is. Control! Alright, so we got a burn on the lighter side of the curb, I think, to get out. I think that's what it is. So if we actually create the node here. Yeah. I think that's the way we want to go, isn't it? Oh no. It must be the darker side then. Okay. If it's the darker side, I will create the node here then. Yes. So I heard that it would be better to try and do it in one hit. Oh. Okay, and then... Oh, like that. Exactly like that. That's exactly what we'll do. Because that will use up about just over half of my remaining fuel. Which is actually brilliant. Alright, let's spin us around. We're going to just rely completely on the internal uh, thingy. It's because I don't really want to mess up anything. So yeah, the reaction wheel. Sorry, my mind got, went blank then. I was like, I forgot what it's called. So yes. We're going to let it get us the right amount of uh, trust. Because we've managed to get to... If we can get this right, we'll be able to get to Jewel. Without having to do any gravity assist. Without having to do anything funky we could actually just get there in like the first hit which would be so cool it'll be so cool doing it and we'll have so much delta v it will be great it will be amazing so nearly there nearly there it's fine we've got plenty of and it's only a three minute burn that's actually quite surprising. There's a three minute burn. And it's going to get us all the way out. But we are... Going to get ourselves... All the way out. And it is going to be wonderful. Right. Let's... Let's speed it up. Like a stellar exposure. Like 40 seconds. 40 seconds, and we're going at quite a speed. And let's speed it up. And we're going to start burning just before it hits zero. So that way we can optimize our burn just a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit. Three, two, one. There you go, right. Let's speed this up just a smidgen because I do not want to be waiting for three minutes. Right. I love it. It's like, oh yeah, it's ground cam. It's like, mm, no, it's not ground cam. Right, let's get out to here. Just so we can actually see where our, our current trajectory is going. Right, nearly there. Three, two, one. Oh, 
there. That's what we want. Beautiful. That is exactly what we want. So, let's speed up. Let's do this. Right. So, hopefully, we've got enough probes now to, uh, to actually keep us in contact with this probe. Because it's really annoying that we just keep losing our signal. Right, we are coming into Jewel. We are coming into Jewel rather rapidly. Right, there's the first pass. Right, let's do this. You know what we're going to do? We are going to... Which way are we currently facing? That's not helpful. I want to go to full retro. Full retro. Ooh, come on. Where, where's Jewel gone? There it is. Right, let's speed this up. Right, nearly there. So we need to get kind of close to Jewel. Like, really close to Jewel. So we're going to use the big main fuel tank to get us into a circularized burn. And then the little one is going to try and get us as close as possible to Jewel. Ready? Three, two, one. And we are in. Right. Let's get ourselves a maneuver node. Maneuver node. Do, 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 do. That'll do. That will do indeed. Right, that'll actually be able to get us a pretty close encounter. Look at that. So in 57 days. <laughs> wow, that is quite impressive. That's quite impressive that it's 57 days. But, you know, we've got to try and maintain a, a decent... Decent height above Jewel. I don't so I can't remember what height we actually need to be for it to be classed as atmosphere. But if we can do it, that's some free three thousand science, which I will take. I will gladly take it. I will gladly take it. But I know some people say, "Oh yeah, try and get it so that way you're passing really close." But this is also going to be a probe that I'm just going to try and keep here. So, yeah, I want to keep it in Jewel. Well, near Jewel. Very close to Jewel. Yes. Let's warp ourselves closer. All right. Even closer, please. So we've got two hours. I am not waiting two hours. I'm waiting, like... 10 seconds for this, please, and thank you. Right. 42 seconds, uh, just a little bit of a warp, just to assist with this. And then, we'll have ourselves a nice little probe around Jewel. Right, one minute burn. Which is great. It is wonderful. And keeping ourselves just about clinging on here. Just about clinging on.
Nice. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Look at that. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. So now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create another node here. And that's going to bring us nice and snug. Quite close. So Jewel is my target. And we're going to bring it the orbit as close as we can. As close as we can here. Right. Uh, maybe I can get a little, a little closer. Hmm. No. So if we actually do it about there and go to target, and then hopefully that's. Mm. Mm. Maybe if we spin it around to that side. Yeah. Just so I don't have to wait as long. No, actually. That. Hmm. I did see something about lathe then for a second. There. There, we'll do that. We'll do it right there. And then that will slow down even more. Which is perfect, we'll do that. Great, we'll use a gravity assist to try and cut our fuel consumption down which is perfect so yeah we're gonna we're gonna fly by a lathe pretty quickly so hopefully we can also grab a bit of research on the way past yeah we'll, we'll try and grab a little bit of research on the way past this is great this is actually working out for us this is just perfect so let's do this let's fast forward the 91 days. 91 days. Uh, I need to focus on this. And fast forward a little bit. Fast forward just a little bit more. Nice. Right, we have 30 seconds. I'm, I'm surprised we still ha actually have quite good control. Yeah, we actually still have quite good control. It's just more than I was expecting, because I was expecting our signal to cut out, but I think the probe that I have that's just inside Jules' orbit, this one, is the one that's keeping us in contact, acting as a relay, which is brilliant. It is brilliant. This is making my life so much easier. Right. Ready. Ready. And... So close. Okay. Oh, we have a lot of Delta V. Like, a lot of Delta V. Hmm. Okay. Okay, this is... One. I need to find it. Oh no! Did I overshoot it just a little bit? I think I might have. I think I might have. Uh, I'm not as target. I need to focus on it.
Hmm. There we go. That's exactly what we want to do. Yeah. Perfect. It's lazy. Ah, lazy is like a watery planet. Okay. Huh. Well, so yeah, that cuts our thing down. Which is great. So we will add... Uh, what we'll do is we'll just warp in just a little bit. Oh, actually. Focus on that. Let's speed up. So we can get our orbital time down because I don't like being so... Woo! No! Ah. Oh. I definitely slowed down beforehand. Oh. That's annoying, that is. That's really quite annoying. Oh, no. Nope, we're not going to do that. We are just going to create the maneuver node. And bring this in. There we go. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, so we have to bring this all the way in. How high would that be? Hmm. How high would that be? One kilometer? Maybe? That might just be enough. Yeah, we'll we'll try that. We shall try that. So let's spin ourselves to our target node. And wait the 34 days. <laughs> we're not literally going to wait 34 days. But, I mean, imagine that being like, Oh yes, we're going to do this in real time. That would be the world's longest playthrough. I'd have to do that like a 24-hour live stream. That 24-7 live stream. That would be insane doing that. Ah like, oh, yes, my next node is in... 283 days. Great. That would be the world's longest, most boring playthrough. <laughs> but, I mean, if someone want, wanted to do that, then... I'm sure. Y you do you. But, um... I should have created it as a node, shouldn't I? Before, because then I would have been able to get some science. Oh well. Oh, well, indeed. Times... Times are... are changing. We missed Lathe, but we're going to try and get Jewel instead. Because I have no idea at what point our... <sighs> oh. Ooh! I just about missed that. <laughs> oh, no. No, no, no. Hurry up and do this. So one minute of speeding up to get through. And then we'll be much closer to Jewel. Much, much, much closer to Jewel. Swapping the poles round of our thing. Four, three, two, one, zero. Yep, I, I missed it, okay. I missed it just by a little bit. There we go, so hopefully, hopefully that is good enough for us. Because, I do not know. I really do not know. So let's speed up this. And we shall see how, how close the uh, atmosphere is on Jewel. Because I have no idea. So this is very much going to be a trial and error. 
So let's transmit that 250 science. I need that extra 250. So anything I can grab right now. Anything I can grab will help. So let's speed this up. Nice. Because science is science at this point. So let's speed up and see at what point we can get an atmospheric sample. Or whether I have to uh, get even closer than 757,000 meters. We shall see. We shall see. Is it close enough? Is it close enough? Because I have no idea if this is going to be even remotely close enough. Let's speed up just a little bit more. Hmm. No, I don't think this is close enough. Yeah, no, this is not quite close enough, but okay. Um. Right, yeah, let's speed up just a little bit more. So I can get a nice screenshot. Wonderful. There we go. A nice screenshot. That is how we do this thing. Alright, so we'll have to try a little better. Let's get even. Oh no, wrong way. How much will that get us in by? That might be a bit too much now. Oh yeah, that's way too much. Woo! Oh no, what did I do? Ah, that's annoying. Ooh, ooh, actually, let's leave it. See if we can get a bit of lathe action. Because getting a bit of lathe action would be great. Because I said science, science would be great. I would like some more science. Science. Let's speed up. Yep, we're going to speed up just a smidgen. This time I'm going to try and not zoom past lathe. So, yeah. Let's do this. Let us do this thing because lathe is a cool place to get some science this is yeah completely unintentional but yeah completely un. this is going to be the quickest bout of science ever from lathe Ooh. this is yeah this is going to be ridiculous it's going to be utterly ridiculous Ready? Speed up. Ready? Oh, maybe just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. There we go. Transmit that. Because an extra hundred science is worth it. It is worth it. I mean, I could just make this a lathe probe. Because that would be cool. That would be cool. But, you know. It's okay. Woo! Right. Okay, so now... Ah. Okay. So we're going to... We're on a crashing traje tra trajectory. Wow, English. I can't... 
Why is trajectory such a hard word to say? I don't know. I do not know. But I also think that that is... A little too close. A little too close for comfort. Alright, so let's point ourselves towards the target. And then... We're gonna go... Whee! Nailed it. Absolutely nailed it. Alright, let's speed up just a little bit more. Because we just need to get this atmospheric sample. Because once we've got the atmospheric sample, we'll see if we can encounter lathe again. And then make the probe around lathe. Because that would be cool. That would be cool. Because, you know, science. So it's a one second burn. This is going to be fun. It's going to be absolutely fun to try and do. And let's speed up. Right, how how close is that going to get us now? Oh, four sixty. Okay, okay. Let's see if this is if this is it. Hopefully, this is it. So let's get ourselves closer. I'm hoping that four sixty is enough. Woo! Is that close enough? No, it's not. Wow. Okay. How close do you have to be? I have no idea. Okay, let's try. Um. I don't think 84,000 <laughs> is a good idea. Yeah, I don't think 84,000. At what point does it start? I wonder. Just because I don't want to burn up, because it would be nice to send this to, uh... To, um... Lathe? Yeah, that would be... Yeah, that would be great if we could send it to Lathe. Okay. Right. So let's warp again. Warp. Yep. Warp again. And now, it's gonna be great. It's going to be absolutely wonderful. But right, are you ready? Are you absolutely ready? So I'm having to keep a really close eye on this 46,000. Really close. Right. So I think it... Yeah. Maybe? Maybe. So according to this, according to this, it should be 138, 138.2 kilometers. There we go. So that should, in theory now, be good enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attract our solars and hope for the best. Yeah, I'm going to, ah, this is going to go so badly. Right, so let's speed up the warp. Because we're already spending so much time. Woo! How long is this going to be going for? Yes! Um, well, I 
rip to this probe. But I got the atmospheric sample. Well, yep, we got the got the atmospheric sample. And uh yeah. Let's deploy deploy the solars. And yeah, apply the brakes as well. Because this is gonna be fun. I've got to survive for two minutes. Survive for two minutes, and then I can get another 2,000 samples here. <whistles> Come on. Come on. Come on, brakes. Keep me going. Keep me going. I have four... I have one minute to go. Come on. Please don't blow up. Please, 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 please don't blow up. Because we got, yeah, I said, 50 seconds. 50 seconds. And we're at times four warp. I've, I've applied all brakes that I can. Literally all brakes that I can to keep us slowing down. So, uh, yeah, I said, hopefully... Hopefully we can survive. Yeah, come on. So, so this is a gas giant, and I don't know at what point it's going to blow us up. Yes! We got it! We got it! <laughs> we got it, everybody! Wow, we gotta be we gotta be quite low down to get the atmospheric sample. But let's see. Let's see if we can actually keep ourselves. It's a bit hard to see. It's really hard to see. I wish I could turn the gamma up so it could. Oh, we'll just have this pretty shot. And see at what point we can. Uh... Which point we blow up. Because I will do this for science, yes. This is for science of what point do we blow up. Because, as I said, this is a gas giant, so in theory, we should just blow up at some point. But I do not know when. Let us find out. Because, yeah, as I said, we are slowing down. Our altitude is going down fairly rapidly, but we are slowing down. We're obviously not going to land. But we shouldn't land, in theory. Because, you know... Is a gas giant. But... Maybe? Yeah, may maybe we'll be able to keep ourselves... Possibly get another bit of science. Maybe? No, we're, we're starting to speed up again. As you can see, we're, we're holding out at 200 meters per second. If there is... Any form of ground, we're going to hit it very hard. We're going to hit it very hard. But, I, yeah, I can't warp any faster. I wish I could warp a little bit faster, because times four is a bit of a killer when you're waiting to land. Especially in a big, big planet. Look how big this atmosphere is. Massive. It is ridiculous. It's just, it's annoying that every time we do these kind of things, I always end up being on the dark side of the planet, so we never actually see the ground. Whichever place we always try and land is always the dark side of the planet. <sighs> oh well. Yep, yeah, we're just trying to slow down as much as possible. And, uh... Yeah, I don't know how much this is actually going to help, having the solar panels deployed, everything deployed. I have no, no thrust left. If I did have a bit of thrust left, that would be great. 
but we don't. So we have to live with it. But yeah, that's given us a... Ooh. The sky has changed. I no longer see space. It, we're in the blackness of the void. Oh, we're starting to overheat. There we go. Ta-da! Rest in peace. Rest in peace, my, my little probe. But because of you, we now have a whole bunch of science. Which is great. I love it. We have so much science. We have an absolute loads of science to play around with. Submit. Thank you. Thanks, science. Second dibs. Plant a flag on pole and obtain a sample report of the strange creature on lathe. Okay, we could probably do that one. I have no idea where pole is, though. I have no idea where pole is. But, you know, we, we'll eventually get, get to those kind of places. But to the VAB we go! Right, do we need any of this stuff? I mean, it could be useful to have some of this stuff. But we don't need it. We do not need it. Heavy orbital operations. Hmm. Deep space meth locks. Okay, radiation propulsion. Science even. I'm I'm reading very different things at the same time here. Is that the biggest one? That's the 130s. Yes, we could do that one. Could do that one. Deep space fusion. Right. Hmm. Okay, okay. There's definitely things that we could do. Do we want... Mm hmm. Do we want to go and grab science stuff? We could do science stuff. And if we have enough, we could do the long-range generation. Yeah, let's do the science stuff. Yeah, we'll do that. And oh, oh, that's annoying. That's really quite annoying. That is okay. Ah, oh, the trust. That's the one I would like to get. The circular trust junction. Ah, <sighs> okay. Larger aerodynamics. Yeah, we'll do that. Why not? Six hundred. And then we'll also grab. High altitude aviation. Give us a whole bunch more parts. Thank you very much. Beautiful. Well, that was a job well done, I would say. Congratulations. We actually managed to get ourselves the sample without dying this time. Which is really quite impressive. I'm really quite impressed. So, I'm going to leave it here, I think. So, guys, if you did make it to the end of this video, I do very much appreciate it. Maybe consider hitting that like and subscribe button and joining the Cozy Crew. We are so close to 100 subs, which is going to be amazing when we get there. And yeah, if you want to come join out my live streams when I go live, I go live on Twitch. Over on twitch.tv slash Celestu. And maybe come join my Discord as well, because that's where we go and hang out most of the time. And just chill and never know. Have some game nights and stuff. Why not? But until then, guys. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and as always, stay cozy.